Good morning, everybody. It is the 3rd of December and I have just got back in the car after visiting a school and the weather is absolutely horrendous. It is torrential rain. It's been like that all morning, which is why I didn't catch up with you first thing in the garden because the weather was absolutely atrocious. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I've just been in school. I've done an observation. The time is now 11 o'clock. Uh, it takes me about half hour to drive home and uh, I've got some emails to do. But the good news is, is that I don't work on a Thursday afternoon or a Friday. So after I've done that bit of paperwork, it's kind of my long weekend. Yay, which is good because I was really tired this morning. I was busy last night um, with my Chrysler Shaw. I started the border and it was really, really addictive, so I couldn't put it down. So I blame Stephen West for my late night, but it did allow me to catch up with a few Vlogmas episodes, which was good. And I realized that I haven't even introduced myself. I'm just assuming that you all know who I am and what my podcast is normally about. So my name is Becky. I am the dyer behind Back to Blighted Designs. That is my creative outlet, not my day job. I work in SEMH during the day. Um, I live on the south coast of England with my partner, Leon. At the moment, our son is with us. He is, well, he is at university. He normally goes to Newcastle University, which is in the north of England. We live right down in the south. But because of the restrictions, he's doing everything online. So he's at home at the moment. And we live with our Springer Spaniel called Molly. So, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Thank you, everybody, for liking and commenting. It's really lovely to hear your news and um, to read your comments. So I'm very, very grateful and keep it up because it's nice having a wee chat with you. Anyway, I'm going to drive home. I need coffee. That's the next order of the day. Catch up with you later. now the afternoon and I have finished work for the week which I have to say quite pleased about um, so I thought I'd check in and have a cup of tea and warm up you will have seen the awful torrential rain 
that I had to drive home in. I got home, then realised that I meant to pick up some medication from Molly from the vet. So I had to go out again, stood outside for ages to pick that up, which is fair because, you know, current restrictions, but it's so cold and windy and horrible out there. So I got home and then I snuggled into my um, Coivre sweater, which is Caitlin Hunter pattern. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, got my nice big cup of tea. And to go with that, gone for a rich tea finger or two, actually, because, you know, why not treat myself? Mm. I don't know if the eagle eyed amongst you noticed yesterday, but I held up my cup to tell you that it says walking in a llama wonderland it doesn't it says walking in a winter llama land i don't know if you can see that so you know i'm drinking out of it i'm looking at it and i still can't read it properly never mind i thought i would pop on show you obviously what i'm wearing and um talk about my chrysler shawl and my socks that i've been working on because i thought you might like to see the progress on that so to start with showing you my sweater this is a colour work and texture pattern as I said by Caitlin Hunter and I love this jumper you can see actually it's got balloon sleeves but they're a bit sort of squished because it's been folded up in my drawer all these months and this is the first time I've got it out but it's a really great pattern absolutely love this jumper I would knit it again as well in a heartbeat but I think the texture in it um, was just so enjoyable um, yeah and then the colour work so yeah love this jumper perfect for a day like today right let's get on with some nitty news so living in my bento bag my knitting bag and case which I love is my Chrysler shawl and I didn't finish the row which is like the cardinal sin of knitting I know um, but I was getting too tired last night. So I'm gonna show you the border as best I can, which is very difficult. So here you can see now some of the peaks along the border. So I started the border and this slip stitching is so lovely. It feels like you're not knitting half the row. And the rows do take quite a long time now because I've got 600 stitches now on the needles. So it's all kind of bunched up. Um, which yeah, isn't, isn't the easiest to show off, but yeah, loving how this border's coming out, really addictive, um, hence why I didn't go to bed till goodness knows what time. I thought that in my last podcast, I was going to have quite a bit of yarn left over, but now I'm not. Um, that's all I have at the moment. And it does ask for two skeins of each, so I'm going to have to skein up um, another two skeins very, very shortly. Have to get the swift out. So that's coming along really well. The other thing that I've got on the needles are my spruce socks. I mean, I have other things on the needles, but you know, <sighs> too many whips. Um, and this is on my winter's tail base. There you go, you can see them there, which is a Stellina, I don't know if you can see any of the sparkle, oh, I think you might be able to a little. Um, sorry, colours blowing out, not very, not very good light, but I think we've talked about that already. So yeah, this is my Winter's Tail sock set, which is currently in the shop, and also there's a giveaway going for this sock set. If you go on to my last podcast, I think it's 25. Um, we had a 2,000 subscriber giveaway, so you can pop a comment in there and you could be in chance of winning um, one of these sets. So I've literally done the leg, done the heel, done the foot, and I've just got to decrease for the toe. It's really hard to show you when it's on magic loop because it all kind of folds in the wrong place. So yeah, so I'm hoping actually I might get that done today and then I'll have one sock off the needles and I want to get it done because I want to have a little gap before I start my proper, what I call my Christmas socks proper, which is my Christmas Eve cast on. So this is my second pair of Christmas socks this year. Um, so I'm doing pretty well. I think that's probably a record. 
Um, although my last Christmas socks were also my Strictly socks for this year. So that's going well. Um, I had great plans this afternoon of I, icing, I don't think so, marzipanning the Christmas cake. But do you know what? It's getting late and I kind of haven't got it in me, I don't think. So I think I'm going to do a bit of knitting. Um, got a few chores that I've got to get done and um, yeah and then I'm going to relax for the rest of the day so tomorrow I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing oh yes I do oh yeah so tomorrow I've got to go over to Hove because I've got to change my work laptop and they've given me the allocated date which is on my day off so I've got to go over to Hove and pick up my new laptop and drop my old one off so um yeah so that's gonna have to be done tomorrow otherwise this evening I've got to go to Tesco's because that's where we do our food shopping and uh, yeah get some food for the week we are running out but otherwise um, I'll take you with me for the rest of the day and we'll see what happens Good morning everybody, it is the 4th of December and it's my day off, although I will be going into work a bit later to hand over my old laptop and pick up a new one for work, so um, yeah, I've got to go over to home for that. I'm just having a coffee in the garden and um, yeah, woke up really late this morning, woke up at 9 o'clock, can you believe it, I must have been so tired, it has been a bit of a week at work. Um, but I got up, put on my Carlina pullover, which is one of my favourite colourwork sweaters. It's by Whitney Hayward, and the yarn is um, also one of my favourites. It's Whistlebear yarns. Um, so yeah, so cosying up this morning. I've had a bit of a lazy morning. I caught up with some Vlogmas, and I've been working on the toe on my spruce sock, so nearly finished. Um, I've just noticed actually the bird feeders need filling up they're pretty much empty so I shall be doing that. Um, I'm hoping to pop out to a garden centre um, a little bit later. We'll see what the car park's like and see how busy it is before I actually make the decision. But I hope you're having a good day wherever you are and I will touch base with you a bit later. Oh,
everyone, I'm back home. So I picked up the work laptop, which is just here. Um, I've managed to connect to the internet, still got to kind of log on and find all the things that I need to find. So that's a fun job. Um, you will have seen that I did manage to go to the garden centre and I did buy a little decoration for the tree. How cute is he? And I did buy something else, which is a project for tomorrow. So I won't tell you too much about that now. For the rest of the day, I'm going to obviously figure out some work stuff. I'm gonna relax a bit. I've also got to phone my dad and I've got a Zoom chat with some chums. So I'm gonna sign off for today and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me.